Hello, my name is Alexander. I'm an AI automation specialist and I'm created this scenario to help you export your uh, database into a vector database and it will help you to create AI agents that will use this database and can answer on your question. So I have ready to use templates, but I am proposed to start from the scratch. So let's create a new project in NA10 and we need to create a new trigger. Then we need to grab this data. For example, I need a property listing. I just let me remove filters. Yeah, we have like a 100 records in this table. It's just loading. And uh, we need to we need to create API request to grab all of these records and put into our NA10. So we have uh, an Airtable API list. Uh, if you're working before, you probably see that we have some tools. But it's like base. We have a base and we have a records. But I don't see a list here. For example, I want to grab only this list. Like I don't want to grab all of the base, like Horizon Estate. So we just need to create like HTTP request then we need to import our curl copy for example we need to find a list record click on copy put this command here uh, we need our URL how you can uh, get this URL. It's include like a base ID and table or name ID. So first part base ID, you can uh, see in your table, it start from the app. So just copy this one. Then you need to extract ID of your table because leads and property agents and developers have a different table ID. So you just need to select list that you need and copy this one and put instead of it. Okay, here we need to provide our token. So if you want to create uh, your token, just go to, let's show you, go to your builder hub then create a new token and a then tutorial and we need to provide access for horizon estate database and we need to scope like i'm proposed to add all of this record and base scheme i think it's ready so let's create a token copy this token go to our and a 10 put this token. Okay, I think it's ready. Just click, click on here. So let's test it. So let's see, we have output. As you can see, this is information about about our property, we have a 100 record. So it's like an array and we need to extract all of this record from this array because we have only one item currently. So what we need to do next, we just need to create a code and extract this Okay, so we grab all of this data from our array. So currently we have uh, 100 items. It means like we extract all of these items. Uh, so the next step, what we need to do, is like a create a pine cone vector store from this data and use this pine vector store in, in the future for our AI agent. Also, I provided here a convert to file. So for example, if you want to export this one in the CSV and upload to our Google Drive, but it's not a required step.
Okay, let's create our find core vector store. Add documents to vector store. So you need to have a Pine Core API account. So for example, uh, you just need to create your account in the system and then create an API key. Let's, for example, create a new one. is successfully. Uh, then we need to use our index. Let's create from the scratch. Just let me show you. Go to database, create index. We need to select text embedding three small. All of this information is okay. Uh, let's take a name like property, create index. Okay, our next step is to select this property from the list. Just wait. Maybe I need a refresh. Property. Okay, it's ready. So let's let's move to the next embedding. Embedding open AI. We need to select the same three small that we selected before for our pine core. Move it here. To the document, so I default, and we need to create our JSON file because this is a JSON. We have a different fields, and we need to extract our row and put into one string. Uh, so what I'm proposed to do, I'm proposed to create a one sentence, one long sentence that included all of this value, and it will store inside the vector database. I have already prepared some code here. Just let me show you how it works. Okay, so I'm just, for example, I'm start to write in a sentence, the property. So here I need a property name. So I'm just move my property name uh, to this text field and I can see also how it looks uh, in our database and you need just to create your sentence uh, using this approach. So I just include all of these columns in one sentence. You can do, for example, in other way, you can write a title for your table, put the value and uh, show it by comma. So if we have a lot of uh, addresses like by comma, it's also showed like this one. So in, and our AI agent will read this one and make decision based on this data. Okay, go to the, here we also need to use a cursive character. Put here a 200. Okay, let's test our workflow. Okay, it's done. So let's test how it looks in our index. So if, if, when we update our table, we can see a list of our addresses and property names. So for example, we can see the sentence that we created before, like the property business Bay gardens is currently available. And we have this sentence for every record and it's called a chunk, like we have a uh, 100 chunks and this is vector we'll use in the future by AI agent to quickly identify and search different property in database. So let's create an AI agent. So let's add a trigger. It would be a chat. AI agent.
or let's use not an AI agent okay sorry so we have a chat uh, okay the next one chat model it would be open AI memory we will use I don't know for example simple memory so we need like a context if you want uh, to create a dialogue with a chat and uh, we'll, we'll need to chat remember our previous answers we need to create a context for example here we have a five let's do like this one next one it's a tool so uh, let's use vector store questions answer tool create a property name then property vector store we will use our pinecone vector store that we created before so we just need to select our list with all of this property let's do this okay then we need to select our model open AI we can select for all mini for embedding we use embedding open AI also embedding three small um let's check how it looks I, I think it looks okay so we can start our chat for example open chat and ask what is the most expensive uh, property in the list so we start to ah i'm sorry we need to add a system message this instruction like hey please check my vector store to find an answer so just copy this text let's do this again we just provide instruction to check the vector store database Okay, so we have the most expensive property in the listing, Kisarabian Ranches Villa, price 4 million. Let's check it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this is a correct. So this is like a approach how you can build vector database.